what is good YouTube? Slogalon is going to be signing in to bring you the top 5 video game anime antagonist. This was something I wanted to bring to you guys for a little while, but I, you know, I couldn't find the time to work around it. But now since I'm on spring break and I've been neglecting my homework, I finally got this out here. If I want to show you guys my top 5 video game antagonist that pertains to anime at the same time. So if you guys enjoy, please hit the like, give me a comment. With that, let's start the top 5 off right now. Coming in number 5 spot is Team Galactic Cyrus. Pokemon is not a cartoon, it is an anime. And with Galactic Cyrus, he shows that he's a savage. This man wants the whole world to be erased and make him be the leader of this new world where people don't really exist and there's all Pokemon. He feels like he's the best, basically. He's the best and he should be the one to rule all over Pokemon. And right now, he's fighting in the underworld kind of a Pokemon and he leaves off with the Hell Dog himself, Houndoom showing how evil he is. Number four in the category is Sage Kabuto. Sage Kabuto is the one of the leaders actually in the Ninja World War in the current Naruto series. But this is a uh, Naruto Ninja Storm 3 full burst gameplay from my channel actually. And with that, uh, he's pretty evil though. He has the power after he got the Sage ability. I don't know, I don't really know exactly where he got it from. But with this new ability, this man's a powerhouse. He has the ability like of like the past um, Sound 4. And Orochimaru. And look, look at that. The white extreme attack had the power to free slow down time. He's he's moving fast because it's always a little attack, obviously. But he's pretty much a powerhouse. And he brung back the old ninja to fight against the new ninjas. And he's pretty much a, a evil villain in this uh series. Number three is nice and powerful Madara Uchiha, because Madara Uchiha is a, he's a savage, yo. He faced off against Hashirama. Lost. He did lose. He did lose. But he put up a nice, a powerful fight, going down in history as, of the ninja as in uh, the one of the most powerful ninjas known. And to him to be brought back from Kabuto's powers, the five Kage had to fight this man. He, they still couldn't take them down as easily as they should have. He had the Sasuno. He, he brought. I didn't even know Sasuno back then, but he has it now because he has the Renin Gun that Kabuto did and bestow upon him. And he's pretty much a powerhouse. He's pretty evil though. He was willing to kill anybody to get what he want. So, with that. That makes him number three. Number two in the category right now has to go down as Frieza. Frieza is a savage, yo. Frieza is one, of, in my opinion, is the best villain in Dragon Ball Z series history. So, Cell was just like, oh yeah, who wanna be perfect? Boo, I don't know what Boo wanted to do with his life, to be honest. Uh, who else? That was, that was it, actually, I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess you count like the androids and stuff. But anyway, Frieza, he had a, he had a real true intention. He wants to exterminate people that will probably come up on him which was the Saiyans in general he did technically exterminate them except he forgot about Goku well, him forgetting about Goku made him lose against Goku obviously because he's a Super Saiyan but Frieza had like a total badass demeanor like if you watch the, the anime over again he was like taking names yo people feared him even Vegeta he made Vegeta cry that's how you know how evil this man was pure evil and he just imploded Krillin right there Alright, the number one has to be, obviously, Pain. Pain is a powerhouse, yo. It, you know, um, what's his name again in the anime? I don't remember his anime name, but he, I think it's, uh, hmm, I can't remember. Anyway, Pain, he is a powerhouse, though. I can't even lie. Pain has, like, this whole, his true intention was to kind of take out all, like, the, to tell Beast to bring peace. But nobody knew that until after they, like, actually sat down and talked to Nagato, who was controlling him technically. But he was a savage, yo. He didn't care who got in his way. He destroyed everybody in his path to get his mission uh, achieved, which was, in a way, peace in the in the world. As you can see, he runs up on the three summoned frogs and just blasts them away easily like that. Pain is a, pain is just like, he's too powerful. That's what it is. He's just nice and powerful. <laughs> like, that's literally what it is. So... But that guys, that's my top five anime antagonists who that are in video games also. If you enjoyed, leave a comment in the comment section. I wanna know what you guys think of the top five from animes that you've watched. And with that, Saga Line is gonna be signing out. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.